NRI customers. Are your tax and investment confusions chronic? Do not panic. This is Union NRI Meet Clinic. Here we will present you property, investment and tax tonic. I am CASS9. Okay. Now, our good friend, Dr. Chandrakant Bhatt, he is an investment consultant. How to make money, he has told. Once you make money, two people are very near to you. Who are they? Your friends and relatives and taxes. You have to pay taxes. Two things are certain in this life. One is death, another is taxes. Okay, death you can postpone also because of medication. Now, the aging, we can prolong our uh, life. But taxes you cannot prolong. If you prolong taxes, it will multiply. Compounding, power of compounding, not only in investment, power of compounding in taxation also. And power of compounding not only in paying taxes, but also in penalties also. Who has to file, mandatorily file, income tax return? As per section 139 of the Income Tax Act, before mentioning this, I will tell you one simple rule. In case of resident, the global income is taxable. In case of resident, global income is taxable. In case of non-resident, only Indian income is taxable. In India, in case of non-resident, only Indian income is taxable. In case of not ordinarily resident, Indian income is anyhow taxable. Income outside India is taxable only when the business or profession is controlled from India. There is a simple rule. Now, who has to file the income tax return? Person having income in India exceeding basic tax exemption of 2.5 lakhs. The exemption of 50,000, that is up to 3 lakhs for senior citizens, is not applicable for NRIs. Please note. The exemption of additional 50,000 for senior citizens is not applicable for NRIs. Then, if there is any TDS in any transaction, then if you want to claim refund, you have to file your income tax return. Then, if you want to claim any loss and carry forward the loss, then you have to file your return. You have to file your return before the due date of the filing of the return. Then, if you pay more than 1 lakh electricity bill per annum, then you need to file income tax return. If you deposit more than 1 crore in current account during the financial year, then also you have to file the income tax return. And if you have paid for foreign travel of yourselves and your relatives, if the aggregate amount is more than rupees 2 lakhs, then you have to file your income tax return. So this is very clear. And what is the due date of the filing of the income tax return? 31st July is the last date of the filing of the return for people, those who don't have business income and they are, who are not covered under compulsory audit under the Income Tax Act. With the fine, you can file the return up to 31st December. Now, 
if you have not filed the return of this current year, that means year ending 31st March 2022, because here the year ending is March. In most of the countries, it is year ending is December. Here, this 31st March 22 year ending return should be filed before 31st December 2022, before this new year. If you can't, if you don't file the return, you can't file the return thereafter. But one more window is given now. In the last budget, updated return. Those who have forgotten to file the income tax return for the year ended 31321 and 313 year ending. Now that window is open to file the updated return. Only the condition is if for the year ended 31-3-2021, whatever taxes, whatever applicable interest, total of that additional 25% you need to pay by way of fine. Then you can file updated return. It is called return U. And if it is for the year ending 31st March 2020, tax interest plus 50% as a fine additional amount you have to pay, then you can file the return. That window is open now. Updated return. Those who have forgotten to file the return of income, in spite you are having the income, now this window is open. Please remember. What happens if you don't file the return? You may get escape, no? But one thing I will tell you, now this all there is CCTV. Now income tax department has also online CCTV. What is this online CCTV? There are some specified financial transactions which are reported by the banks as well as different authorities. If you deposit 10 lakhs or more in SB account, one information will go to department. If you pay for a credit card in cash, more than rupees 1 lakh or in other mode, more than rupees 10 lakhs, if you spend in credit card, one information will go to department. If you buy any immovable property, 30 lakhs or more, one information will go to income tax. If you investment, make investment in shares, debentures, mutual funds, or fresh bank deposits, other than NRE deposits, then it will go to huh? time is over. Huh? I have just started only. You are telling time is over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then um, I am lost now because of your watch. Because I believe in don't just watch the clock. Do what it does. Okay. What clock does that I want to do? I will not take much time, but some time it is required if you want to give information. Um, <clears throat> so that's why all this information will go to the income tax. And if you don't your uh, if you don't file your returns before the due date and before the whatever extended date, then penal consequences will be for you. So it will amount to concealment. Concealment they can levy penalty up to three times of the tax amount. One more thing, all NRIs they are under the impression that they are not entitled to pay GST, goods and service tax, right? But if you have rental income from commercial property, more than 20 lakhs aggregate in a year, you need to collect, you need to register under GST 
collect the rent from the tenants and you have to pay to the GST authority. But residential property, if you let out, it is exempted from GST. But if you have residential property, rental income, suppose 15 lakhs, and commercial property only 6 lakhs, then total rental receipts, it exceeds 20 lakhs, then you have to register under GST, but you have to pay GST only on commercial rental income. So investment in properties is one of the most, uh, uh, what we care, we are fond of that uh, investment. While investing in property, residential property, up to two houses, one person can own. More than two houses can also you can own, but up to two houses it can be treated as self-occupied. More than two houses if you own, it will be treated as third house or more, it will be treated as deemed let out. The fair rental value of that flat or house property will be treated as your deemed rental income. But the beauty in investment in residential uh, and uh, uh, commercial property, anyhow your bank is going to give the loan. Now credit, earlier they only used to make deposit marketing. Now credit marketing, rigorously they are doing more than the deposit marketing. You can borrow and invest in commercial property also. The beauty in that is, suppose if you have one crore other income, let us forget about that 10 lakhs basic uh, uh, what you can slap up to 5 lakhs and 10 lakhs and more. Thumb rule, 30% is the tax. You have to pay how much? 30 lakhs income tax. Plus, if surcharge is applicable, blah, 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 it will be there. Plus 4% education says. But if you get rental income, 30% standard deduction will be there. Then, if you get 1 crore rental income, 30% standard deduction, only 70 lakhs is taxable. So, effective rate will be 30% on 70 lakhs means 21%. That is the beauty in investment in properties. So, one side, property prices will go up. Second, you will get regular income also. Third one is you can get tax at discounted rate. This is the beauty of property income. So my request to all of you is do's and don'ts simply I want to conclude. Whenever you returning NRI, please Soon after you arrive, convert your existing NRI SB or NRO SB or all your current whatever it is, FDs into RFC account. And NRIs are prohibited from purchasing agriculture land, farmhouse and plantation property as per FEMA guidelines. So, at any cost, direct route or indirect route, buy your remittance, your wife may buy or your brother may buy, direct route, whatever violations, same violations will hold good if you make it indirect route also, that will be the FEMA violations. So, from moving from one country to another country, don't forget to give FATCA declaration updated in all your bank accounts. Then make your transactions through banking channels only and uh, um, file your income tax return if you are entitled to pay tax. So there is no shortcut in taxation, shortcut will definitely cut you short. Now they are very, very, very 
uh, what we can say vigilant so please be careful also and uh, last but not the least i have uh, framed two small anecdotes in kannada i would like to say and conclude nevella anivasi bharatiyaru alva nevella anivasi bharatiyaru ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ನ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯ ಖಾತೆದಾರರು ದೇಶದ ಫಾರೆಕ್ಸ್ ಕೊಡುಗೆಗೆ ಹೊಣೆಗಾರರು ದೇಶ ಕಟ್ಟುವ ಪಾಲುದಾರರು ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯ ಅಮೂಲ್ಯ ಗ್ರಾಹಕರು ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿನ ಏಳಿಗೆಗೆ ಪಾತ್ರದಾರರು ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿನ ಠೇವಣಿಯ ಸೂತ್ರದಾರರು ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿನ ಕುಟುಂಬಸ್ಥರು ಊಟಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕು ಪೊಟೇಟೋ ಓನಿಯನ್ ಊಟಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕು ಪೊಟೆಟೋ ಓನಿಯನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ಗೆ ಬೇಕು ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಭಾರತದ ಆರ್ಥಿಕೆಗೆ ಆರ್ಥಿಕತೆಗೆ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತಿದೆ ಒನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲಿಯನ್ ಟುಡೆ ಎನ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಕಸ್ಟಮರ್ಸ್ ರೀಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಗೀವಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೀವಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಹೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ this evening by grand celebration thank you